everyone welcome to the match up 14 and i say it match up 14 podcast we have an absolute banger of a week i'm joined i need to bring the two wise old men in on the podcast with me today because there is some freaking drama going on there's a lot of disrespect a lot of the big-headed egos are getting shut down this week in the league uh cody obviously this is why you're here you put up a massive 422 points after getting a seven day early gg from kevin we'll get into that later but i just want to introduce you cody welcome to the podcast thanks for having me and hayden uh obviously i couldn't have kevin on here as the second scorer with what a disrespectful bag of crap he was this week so hayden you're coming in uh i believe you're a third scorer you beat me by two points so you're a third scorer this week Big win over Brady. Hayden, how's it going? Good, good. I'm just here on the side. I mean, this is about Cody. <laughs> gotcha. All you're about just, Cody. Okay, you're just here so you don't get fined, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, Cody, we'll go ahead and just dive right in. Everyone wants to hear what you're saying. So, uh, to sum it up, for anyone that missed it, we had a two-week matchup for the All-Star break, and Kevin hits you up last Sunday with a GG. I want to say he was up by like 90 to 100 points. It was a good bit. And he stuck to his guns. We told him, like, hey, there's seven days left. He's like, no, I meant it. GG. Cody, an absolutely great comeback. Everyone in the chat was pulling for you. Um, how did you do it? And how good does it feel sticking that in Kevin's face? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just say I've had the chat muted for the last two weeks going into the All-Star break. Uh, I've been working with my team, getting them hyped up. I knew taking a week off was going to be good for them. Uh, a lot of teams go to the all-star break looking to come out refreshed. I actually came out with two people going to the IR and one day to day. So I had an adverse effect kind of shook me a little bit, but uh, the good pep talk and good camaraderie that we had during the all-star break really, really did it. And um, I have some receipts. I would like to read if we can do that. Oh yeah, dude, we, we got nothing but your floor, sir. <laughs> July 9th, which is Sunday, it was, I believe the All-Star break was beginning that Monday. At 6 o'clock at night, Kevin says, GG, Cody. Ethan then replies immediately, it's two weeks. Either an egg or the most disrespectful seven-day GG of all time. Kevin then replies immediately, says, I know it's two weeks. All right. I respect it. He is. He's up by 100. Let's move into Friday. Will comes in. Dang, Kevin, you can look real stupid if Cody comes back here. <laughs> well, this is now into Saturday, yesterday. Kevin comes back, sticks to his guns like he says. I have five starts. I ain't scared. Well, right after that, Will replies and says, are you scared yet, Kevin? Kevin says no. And this is the gif of... Uh... It's like Jordan Peele, like sweating everywhere, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, so last night at 7 p.m., Will says, you scared? Kevin says no. And then today happens. Ethan, what happens today? And I want to, before we go directly into the receipts, even Hayden texts me this morning. I mean, I literally think it's like 6.30 a.m. And he's like, Kevin's got Eflin with a raunchy kind of matchup looking at him. And if Eflin ends up shit in the bed... And Joe Ryan comes out for Cody. Cody's got this in the bag. And he's – Caden's stuck to his guns on this side all week, too. He's been more interested in this matchup than his own. And I believe it. he's been talking to me nonstop. And today I get the text. I haven't been keeping up with it. I've been running around. And I just see Will Sayer says, that crazy son of a bitch did it. And I'm like, there's no way Cody took the lead. What's going on? Hayden says, I need more of this in my matchup. I, I want this more than my matchup. Benton said, I need my team to follow Cody's team's example. And I replied, nobody hung like Cody is hung. Because Josh Young is absolutely killing it still. Texas where it's at. Merka Simeon's my team. But yeah, everyone was rooting for you. And the crescendo of it actually happening. Nobody thought it was going to happen. It was beautiful mayhem to the whole thing. Uh, I'm glad that you got to make it on the podcast and talk tonight. What else do you have to say to Kevin about it? You know, I won't stoop to his level. Uh, people with the name Kevin, not a big fan of him. That's my dad's name. Don't like my dad. Don't like Kevin. So just like that, Kevin, you're out of my life as well. Uh, I do want to give a huge shout out to Manny Machado and Cody Bellinger this week. They're both top two scorers of this matchup. 
Uh, Machado was 71 points and Bellinger 64. A big fan of the dads, even though I ain't got one. Big fan of them. <laughs> that's, a, that's a solid ending. Uh, speaking of people with dad issues, Hayden, I'm glad you're here too, man. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, your dad's in the picture, but your your dad and your mom didn't get along too well, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, You're about to be a dad. dad. He's about to be a dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it turns out differently for you and Shannon. I hope everything goes great on those regards. Mm-hmm. You guys are My good. dad's a great dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's enough for Kevin and Cody's talk right now. Um, Hayden, we'll get to you. Huge matchup this week. 61 points from Logan Gilbert. That dude is on fire. I know you've been kind of waiting on him to come around. I've been sending you trades for him, and you're like, nah, I believe in him. And while you talk about how Logan Gilbert's doing, you also beat Brady, who is another person getting big-headed in this league, and they come through hyping up their team. My team's back. They're healthy. I'm going to make a run. I think he's lost two in a row. I know I beat him last week, so I don't know if it's more than that, but Kevin and Brady, and I beat Mitchell. We beat the three big-headed ego monsters in this league. So how did it feel to take care of Brady this week? And how do you think your team's going to keep performing the rest of the way? Oh, it's always good to beat Brady. Jared texted me at the beginning of the week, or two weeks ago. He's like, oh, dude, this is Brady. He's our kryptonite. We got this. This is a big W right here if we get it. And it was close the whole time. And then yesterday, I think I put up like 70 points or something. Kind of, Kind of got some space. But, yeah, it's always nice to beat Brady, especially when he was – actually doing well with his prospects and old man pitching so that this would be brady's second straight loss so he doesn't have more than that um kevin like i said let me down i thought we were going to have a five matchup win streak next week didn't happen but brady mitchell and kevin go down i think we all agree those are the three biggest ego characters in this league right now right do you think they got a little bit of humble pie over the all-star break realize their team couldn't hang for two straight weeks you know what's crazy about the you and Mitch matchup? You kind of embarrassed him, and you had Sevy go minus 19. Yeah, and my whole team's hurt, too. Like, I'm not – my team's just doing the damn thing. I'm going to be honest. I, when I put the lineup every week, I don't have a lot of pitching matchups. I'm just fielding what I can field right now. Hitters are IL'd, but – Simeon and Arenado, Ezekiel Duran, Adolis Garcia are ridiculous. So they're just carrying me. My team's not doing anything fancy. It's just consistent hitting points. So yeah. I'm gonna Hayden said it like you embarrassed him. The thing that I've noticed, it was a two-week matchup and he didn't even break 300. Yeah. And he, he noticed he didn't say anything in the chat all week. Cause like, what was he gonna talk about? I mean, it was the same reason I didn't say anything for a while. <laughs> Hey, but you came out on top. Um, that's pretty much it from you two. Just I wanted to get y'all's thoughts on taking down your opponents because it was a kind of gruesome matchup. And before I'm gonna go through, we'll do a one through twelve power ranking, kind of talk about every team. But before I want to do that, uh, I want to do something for the entire league here. So, due to Kevin being so disrespectful this week and him putting on two weeks of a crap podcast. He comes to me and he wants to do my podcast. I'm like, man, I'm so glad to see somebody's taking initiative. He's stepping forward in the league. And then he's as disrespectful as he is this week. And the two podcasts, he's just reading this white Excel spreadsheet, giving us no information from it. So uh, I want to do something for everyone here today. I'm going to just delete all the garbage off of the spreadsheet. You're going to watch me save over it, all right? The spreadsheet's gone. I don't want any more of it in my life. That's all I want to do for everyone. Spreadsheet, no longer on this podcast. (laughs) Kevin doesn't deserve that spot of fame, and I just need to get that out of the way. With that, we'll move into the power rankings. Um, Do you all want to start at 12 and walk up? Yeah, it works. All right. Um, Hayden, I'll I'll let you start it. I'll let you start at twelve because I know you had an honorary vote for your twelve spot, and Jared was very vocal about this as well. So, Jared said he we shouldn't even have him ranked. He should be off the list, but it was Alex. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's which he actually put up a good week, and I think he's beating Benton next week because I don't think Benton is going to win another game. I would love that, but you know, Benton 
he keeps good action in the chat and I don't want him to be bad, but it's funny when his team's bad. Exactly. You, you got to root for that to keep going. And Alex, like what's, what's his chance of making playoffs? Yeah. Not good. What's happened to his team? They just all died. I mean, he had like four Tommy Johns. So. He's and... making good uh, waiver pickups though. So he's moving to four and ten. Did he lose this week? Yeah, to Austin. Yeah. Beat his meat. So he's moving to four and ten. He's pretty much out of the playoff picture. Alex, we wish you well, sir. Hopefully you continue listening to the podcast, but you're probably not even gonna hear this. So who cares? Cody, that'll send you up to number eleven. Who you got? I got bitten. Yeah, do the right thing. Yeah. So what do you see out of Benton? Why why do you just got to stick them down there? Obviously, the team doesn't perform. We understand that. But is there a specific weakness you see in this team? Well, so doing the whole rankings is tough anyway. It's just trying to figure out and forecast who's going to be good next week or not. And what I see is a downward trend in Benton's team. And it's not it's not sustainable. And until he can turn it around, he started off good. And that halfway point – I don't know, man. So right now, the way it's looking, the forecast of this team is not ideal. Oh, I know he was complaining about Bobby Miller getting pulled. Yeah. He said the, the fuck the Dodgers, blah, blah, blah. It says he had knee discomfort. And that doesn't sound good. Dude, I saw he picked up Matt Chapman. I think he's having third base issues. Yeah, he's got, at least this week, Luis uh, Arias at second. Who's dog? That guy's batting 420. Third base, Isak Paredes. Shortstop, Tierro Estrada. Outfield, Brandon Nemo. Alex Verdugo. Austin Hayes. Jorge Soler. That's gross. It's worse than mine. Yeah. It is worse than yours, Cody. And you're welcome to recognize that. So, I'm with you. I don't see Benton trending far. That'll take me to do the 11 spot. And the 10 spot. The 10 spot. I don't know if I've ranked a 10 spot. That's got me feeling interesting. Mm. Man, I just really want to be disrespectful to Brady, but I don't know if he's truly the 10th. I think he could beat 10th. So I'm going to put Mitchell down there. His team, talking about being banged up, his team's been banged up, and I don't know if they're going to get healthy and help him out at all. He's ninth in points four in the league. And he is going on a pretty good losing streak, I think. I'm going to check that out here. So this will be his third loss in a row. And he has Matt Olson, who's ridiculous. Matt Olson's putting up 60 points matchup, and it's not helping his team. Uh, he's got to stiffen up the pitching. He's literally has Emmett Sheehan, Brian Wu in his rotation currently. Kyle Bradish on the bench. Michael Waka hurt on the I.L., Pitching's too weak. He's got a ridiculous lineup. He's got to make moves there. He's That's pretty much all I got to say to Mitch. I'll get him out of the way. He's going to be a salty dog. Hayden, I'll move you to number nine. Yeah, you didn't mention Mitch has Freed coming back, so he could do something. Yeah. I, I agree, and Freed's a dog, but when's he even coming? Oh, so he was actually in rehab this week. Okay. That's good to know. Gotcha. I mean, I, I love Freed. I've tried trading for him. Even if he doesn't go deep into games off his injury, he's going to be a consistent uh, arm for the guy. So, good, good calling that out. Thank you, Hayden. Uh, number nine, uh, just for this week, I'm going Austin. He could go either way. He could go down. He could go back up. I, don't, I mean, I'm kind of indifferent, but for this week. You know, Austin's still fourth in points four, but – so is Logan. Logan's killing it in points and not getting any wins. Yeah, Logan already changed his name to Ready for Football. We shouldn't have even recognized him. He's already calling it quits on this shit. He should be the 12th. That, that stuff pisses me off. That's an Auburn mentality right there. So, yeah, Austin at nine. I actually got to see Austin's sweet face on Saturday. Uh, he seems happy as ever. Lord bless him. But <laughs> where do you think Otani's going? Is he getting traded? No. A lot of the analysts think he's getting dealt now, which is interesting to me because 
they think there's no way the Angels can hold him after the season once he's a free agent. So the Angels are going to do anything they can to get rid of him. And they need a team with a deep prospect organization. And I'm hearing a lot of Cincinnati Reds talk. Because they have a lot of prospects. They're on edge. They could make a push. They get a pitcher and a hitter, make them a huge difference maker. And that would be a terribly gross team for Othani to go to. But yeah. Poor Austin, poor guy. Um, Cody, who do you have coming up in the eighth spot for the power rankings? Logan. Logan. Yeah, I'm. like I said, with his name change, we shouldn't have let him creep up that high, but he's at eight. Um, looking at his team, it's just kind of boring and steady, and I think that's his problem. He's a consistent steady points but he can keep getting notched it's not a team that's gonna definitely win a week and then have a down week and lose one every now and then but he's just been unlucky from the jump yeah. but i love it like to have that team not in the playoffs is amazing i agree with you there so Sounds like you plan on making the playoffs then, Hayden. That'll move me to my seventh power rankings, and I think I'll put you guys there. Uh, you guys have been creeping up, Hayden. I put pre- me at seventh? Yeah, you're, look, don't get too crazy. You were like a solid 11 three weeks ago, right? Y- based, y'all were on, down. based on Kevin? I mean, I, listen, come on. You know your team. It, it yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Look, you're, you're in the playoffs. Yeah, I don't want to be overhyped. You know, I don't want to you know, pull a Kevin or something. Yeah, Ozzy's playing extremely well. Yeah, go through that team and then say seventh again. I'm not going to do what Brady did to me when he put me at ninth, and he was like, oh, you have the best catcher in the league. You have the best first baseman in the league. You're the best. Oh, yeah, you're the ninth best team in the league. Fuck Brady for that. Yeah, not going to lie, Hayden at seven. Actually, that that, that shot me pretty good, Ethan. <laughs> do you think – I just don't – I don't see the pitching rotation holding up. I don't. Logan Gilbert's outstanding. Big Logan Gilbert fan. Lucas Giolito is going to fold. He's going to get traded somewhere, and he's going to be a fifth pitcher on their team. You know you don't like Hunter Brown. You Darvish is a basket case. He's not on my team anymore. You're right. That got, that trade was been two weeks ago. So Now I got Naylor and Kelly, and Naylor's killing it. And I do like the Merrill Kelly pickup. So why don't you rank someone else at seventh? I do. I do like the Merrill. Well, I was looking at last week's roster, but I'm still going to keep you down there just because I know you don't want to be too over the top. Yeah, You're the yeah. fighting fills. Kyle Schwarber's still batting 073. So we'll leave you down at seven, and I will give you the honors of picking the sixth place team. I'm going to put Cody at six. He's a legend, you know. That boosts him some rankings. Uh, if if he took the L this week, you know he'd probably be towards the bottom. Yeah, if Cody lost this week, he's looking out of the playoffs. But after that, just rejuvenating nut punch to Kevin, we got to get him in the playoffs. Dude, my batters are hot. The one thing I will say about my team, I did, I just lost Shane Bieber. Who did he like? I don't think really had him. Yeah, and that's very true. For the last four weeks, he hasn't been very good anyways, but he hit aisle 15, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm confident in my batters. They're keeping up with me pretty good, and I still got solid pitching. It's just depending on the week. You need to work on your pitching depth, but Corbin Burns, Joe Ryan, and Mitch Keller, which if you would have said that name before the season, Joe Ryan and Mitch Keller, you'd have been like, who the fuck is this guy's pitching rotation? But that is one of the most consistent pitching rotations in fantasy right now. So I think as long as you can stream a decent fourth with Bieber out and maybe get an extra arm in there for some depth, then your bats will do solid. They're good, consistent. Manny Machado's still underperforming. He could end up carrying your freaking team now that he seems to be back this week. So I like moving you up to the sixth spot, Cody. I want to see you in the playoffs. I'm tired of you playing with Will Sayers in the toilet bowl. Hey, baby, I'm here to play. Uh, Cody, that'll leave it to you for number five. Brady. Yeah. He he needs to be moved up, but he doesn't need to be up there. So I, I like five for him. This middle of the pack right now in the league, we're all just mingling right now, so it's very tough. 
Oh yeah. Like Hayden said, if Logan can fall out of the playoffs, that's going to be huge for everyone. You know, he's a solid team and he's just be bopping around there. And I I'm with you like four through nine are all solid teams. So Brady, I see Tatis is day to day. Is it anything exciting? Uh, no, he was off. He pitched it, uh, today for the game. He came in and got an RBI. So he's, he hit off the bench today. Yep. One for one. You're right. He did come in and pinch it. So ankle feeling better than expected. He came in the 10th and got an RBI. Steroids, man. They heal you quick. <laughs> this, this fragile bones. He needs to start drinking collagen. Ooh, he's healing faster than we thought. I just, uh, Brady's pitching rotation is very scary. If they're, it and they click Verlander, Wheeler, Musgrove, Kershaw, Dylan Sees, Carlos Rodon, Yuri Perez. That's that can be really scary rest of season. So I think we're all hoping his team just to continues to suppress and underperform and let's just leave him middle of the pack. Uh, that'll take me to the four spot. If I don't pick myself, then that moves me up into the top three. So that's a big bonus. Um, so who we got left? We got me, Kevin, Will, and Kinsley. Dude, how about Kinsley on a five-game win streak? I'll put Kevin at four. Get this kid out of here. I Listen. like it. <laughs> All right. I don't give a shit. I'm going to beat him next week. How hurt my team is or not, I'm on an un- just a ridiculous win streak. And I think he's got what's coming for him. His team has been putting up over 300 points for like five matchups in a row. And I think that shit talk, I think it kicked his team in the gutter. I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping he's a downward trend. But uh, yeah, we'll put Kevin at four for the time being. His no-name team has been overperforming, and it's not going to last into the playoffs. So Hayden, we'll bring it back to you for number three. So it's Will, you, and Kinsley. Uh, I think I'll stick Will at three just to put the Brogdon, so two W5s top two. Are you serious? I'm doing it. I think Kinsley deserves to be top you two. Know the best part of this is she's not going to watch this. And the best part, Will deserves it. Will's team's great. I know. Will's, Will's team is great. So – Putting Will at third, uh, Dansby IL 10. And he just picked up you, Darvish, from me. And that dude is a roller coaster. So good luck with that. No kidding. And he has Aaron Nola, who's a roller coaster. Kevin <laughs> Gossman, who's a roller coaster. He steals a roller Alec coaster. Alec Manoa, that dude is a rocket <laughs> roller coaster. And Grayson Rodriguez, who's still in the minors. I don't. Ugh. But he's doing it. He could easily be number two or number one. I mean, the kid from last year to this year, like his baseball knowledge is through the roof. If, if we gave out a most improved trophy, I mean, just his involvement and everything, that guy deserves a little – maybe we can make him like a little silver toilet bowl for this year for finally getting out of there and just doing things and making the playoffs. But if his pitchers click, I mean, he's got like five Cy Young – able pitchers but 10 years ago so we'll see yeah. what he can do he's got if the right he great a, pickup if he made a playoff run I, i'd be excited for him like if i was out and will was in it i'd be going for you know, will i'm hanging out with austin saturday and i was like how's will been haven't seen will in a while i was like he's in chattanooga so <laughs> will lives in chattanooga now by the way this is breaking on the youtube podcast sorry for it uh he lives there yeah dude just lives in nuga baby move will best of luck to you tennessee volunteer son of a bitch uh this is news to me best of luck for you sir up there in tennessee hey at least he's not teaching our kids anymore down here you know yeah but he's teaching those tennessee kids still I yeah know. i mean uh yeah so there's that news bomb for the entire league if they weren't aware but i don't know um cody send it to you for the two spot well uh, I honestly was going to put Will there. I was dead set for him being number two. So being stuck with Ethan and Kinsley blows my mind. Um, but it's Kinsley. Dude, I really thought you were going to stick me at two. Just yeah, to- you should have. 
No, uh, so real go, going into this, I was like, crap, Ethan's Ethan's number one right now. His team is on fire, it's steady. And I, I even had you as number one. And the fact that Kinsley Creek's number two blows my mind, but she's a two. And we do like, I know we all want to sit here and shit on Kinsley. Her lineup, Freddie Freeman, Jose Altuve, Austin Riley, Bo Bichette, that is the best infield in fantasy hitting-wise I think we've seen. I know Jose Altuve is running around with an oblique injury. Who knows when he'll come back? Her pitching's kind of meh. Pitching's very meh. Very meh. I'm with you on that. Um, but you, you can't ignore the W5. You can't ignore a five game win streak. And that she is, why. is, you know, she's just beating up on those American League guys. And I mean, she is. That's um, pretty easy. She is next week. Let's check it out. Because next week I get Kevin. And if I go on a sixer after beating Kevin, sayonara, dude. I am on a takeoff to the moon. Hensley will be facing Will. So two versus three next week. We'll be able to really sort that out and get power rankings a little more dialed in. That's exciting to see. But that leaves me with myself as the one, the best team in the land, the Texas Rangers lineup, the five-game win streak, JT Realmuto's back hit and bombs at catcher, Marcus Simeon, Nolan Arenado, Bobby Witt is a disgusting infield right now. Adolis Garcia should have won the home run derby, but his bullpen pitcher sucked ass, so he didn't even get to swing. And I have the whole Mariners pitching rotation, so I'm pretty solid there. Um and a nice little Aaron Judge on the bench. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm in the playoffs now. If I take a skid for a few games, Judge was hitting BP, dude. Hold on. ESPN's got videos of him hitting BP. Dad, why is dude, it about the agent here? Adam, ESPN plus subscribers. Scott, would you like to say grace for us? Sure. sure. We got a grace. May we have no more pipes bursting in this home. I'm Amen. Sorry, Before a little thing becomes a big thing, call your alpha agent. Welcome back, back to Coors Field oh, as we head to the so bottom bad. of the third. Earlier today, check this out, guys. Aaron Judge in Good the cage point. for the first time since running into that wall at Dodger Stadium. Also catching up with new hitting coach Sean Casey and yeah, running in the outfield. Like. Certainly you taking say, some steps yeah. in the right direction. Still no timetable. Did I just share a video that had him hitting one swing to second base? Yeah, I did, but I didn't and know. It was, that did was you just, content. And did you just share a video because ESPN – has to give you an ad no matter what. So we just watched an ad. Yeah. And I'm literally an ESPN plus subscriber. Yeah. And they just boosted their subscription too. <laughs> and out of the 10,000 views I'm going to get on YouTube, you know, some people are going to go subscribe to my ESPN plus plug. But anyways, uh, guys, thank you. Oh, speaking of my team, I want to get y'all's take real quick. Christian Encarnacion Stram. Before any of these reds get pulled up, He's supposed to be the first guy pulled up. He's the best hitter in the organization. He's batting 400 with 69 home runs this year. I'm hearing he's not going to get called up till September, but a lot of rumors about him getting traded for a name. Do I need to drop him to make a spot? If you drop him, Brady picks him up immediately. Well, it depends on waiver order, and I feel like Brady's probably not far up. You're first on waivers, dude. Yeah, I'm first. Yeah, Brady's 12. I figured they'd pick somebody up recently. I just don't. That's my problem. If I see him play against me come playoffs, I'm going to be upset. Even the chances of a rookie coming up and being a dog are slim, but he's my one thing. I could really use an extra spot with all my IL players. And I'm streaming pitchers. I picked up Jack Flaherty. I have been the number one Jack Flaherty hater for four years now. And he's on my team. I don't know, dude. I've been pretty anti-Jack for quite a while. <laughs> and I'm a Cardinals fan. Yeah, but he might get traded, so it's a nice pickup. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. But is it going to help? It's not going to help him from being a beta, no. Yeah, he's a bitch. But... He is. Anyways, that's all I got. Power rankings, I appreciate the one. And Kinsley in the number two. Like I said, she's not going to watch this, but if she does, she's going to be thrilled. I mean, it doesn't matter. It was shot anyways. I'm number seven. Where do you want to be, man? I don't know. But like we said, hey, if it makes you feel agree, four through nine, solid. So I'm not moving you up higher than four. 
you know you're not top three. I had you at five. I'll take five. I like five. But seven? Everyone, comment in the video thread where you guys think the Reed and Fighting Phils, Hayden and Jared Waddell's team should be. Besides that, Cody, thank you for beating Kevin's ass this week. He deserved it. Hayden, thank you for joining, sir. I wish your co-manager could have made as well. But that is it for the Fantasy Baseball Experience. I look forward to seeing you guys next Sunday, and I'm going to be bronzed coming back from the Bahamas. So everyone take care. It was a pleasure.